Okay, hello everybody. So I'm gonna try and get this recording done. I've been having a couple recording issues, but uh, let's see how this works. Um, I was thinking about ideas of ways to get students to be able to speak with AI uh, without having to get a fairly expensive program or anything like that. And so I wanted to see what we could get it to do with uh, Copilot for a you know reasonably natural conversation, one that goes back and forth a bit, but also that is uh, testing a student on their ability to use some skills. So I'm keeping it easy here and this is a past tense example but uh, I want to take a look at this uh, prompt that I made first and we can kind of discuss a little bit about how it works so here's the prompt which is let's play a game where you ask me questions about my weekend and I answer using the past tense if I use the past tense correctly one time you give me one point if I use it correctly two times and a single answer give me two points and so on um, if I use the past tense incorrectly or fail to use the past tense, you will take away one point. And when I do that, uh, please give me brief feedback about the problem before continuing the conversation. So the idea is to encourage me to keep using the past tense. It's slightly gamified as we go um, with a little bit of up and down, uh, but uh, you know, not too heavy. Um, the goal is for me to get to five points total. In order to keep the conversation as natural as possible, you will use my answers to guide your follow-up questions. Now that part ended up being important because it, without that it went into totally different random questions. Um, please do not remind me of the rules of the game. Do not offer any suggestions. When I get to five points, ask if I want to keep going or if I'm done with the conversation. So. Um, Let's see how it works. Uh, when we start and plug this in, it will uh, start by just giving me text because I'm putting it in as text. And so I'm going to click on the, uh, the, the audio button to see how it goes. Sounds like a fun game. Let's get started. What did you do last weekend? And in order to activate the voice conversation on the uh, on the computer here, I'll click on the microphone button and then it should go back and forth reading it for me and letting me speak. I went to breakfast with my friends. That's great. You've earned one point for using the past tense correctly. Your total score is now one. What did you have for breakfast? I eat waffles. Oops, remember to use the past tense. The correct sentence would be, I ate waffles. So I'll have to deduct one point. Your total score is now zero. Did you enjoy the waffles? Did you do anything else at the beach? I played volleyball and I went surfing. Excellent. You've earned two points for using the past tense correctly twice in your response. Your total score is now four. Did you enjoy surfing? I'm done. Thank you. You're welcome. I'm glad I could help with your practice. If you have any other games or topics you'd like to discuss, feel free to ask. Have a great day. Okay, so with that, you can see uh, it's a little bit glitchy right now. It does work better when I'm not screen recording it, so that's one thing to be aware of. Um, but you can see the idea here is not too bad, right? It, it's pretty impressive to, to be able to set something up for your students, um, to be able to say that they can practice on their own and maybe get some, uh, you know, non-prepared conversation topics and back and forth follow-ups uh, on, on the topic, whatever they're talking about. So that's a really powerful thing. And we can start to see how this is going to become accessible to students in the future, right? So this is the free version of Copilot. Uh, you can see that I'm not signed 
signed in here. Um, so a student could just copy and paste the prompt and try that system and see what they get out of the conversation overall. So uh, I'm excited about where this is going, what this is going to open up for uh, opportunities. Like I said, not perfect quite yet, but um, there's going to be other issues, pronunciation, etc. But worth looking at and worth seeing what's going to be uh, coming down the line. Uh, if you like this and uh, you want more information about using AI uh, for your language learning students, uh, Ishel and I have been working on some different videos as we can, and so uh, I don't know where they are. Take a look around the screen, see what you can find, um, or visit us at AIandESL.com. And of course, we talk about this stuff on the podcast uh, at diesel, D-I-E-S-O-L dot org. Thanks so much.